Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today on the homestead on Triple H Farm. Um, a forewarning today. This video is going to be us butchering our rabbits. So if you do not want to see this, I would stop the video now. Um, today is butcher day and we're going to show you how to how we butcher and process um, the rabbits and it's going to be a two part uh, two videos so a two part video and um, yeah so again if you do not want to see us butchering a rabbit I would highly suggest you turn the video off now or fast forward it to the part where we actually process and do what we're going to do with them today. So, alrighty, come on. This part um, is my husband's area of expertise. I have no idea about this part. He does the actual um, butchering and processing, and then I take it. He takes it inside, and I um, cut it up how we want it. Or if we want to leave a hole, today we're going to be making jerky with it. And there's four bunnies, so we are going to. Um, do all that so let's get started he's done got one bunny so i need to hurry up all right all right so what i do is it's already gone the rabbit's gone already um i i grab it by the ears and this is called the hopper popper and then i grab one leg and then i let go of the ears grab the other one and i pull really hard i kind of want to go up and out down is not so good but if you kind of get like that at an angle it's better and you just pull, it's really fast. It's really fast, it's easy to do. Um, and then you put it in your, string it up. Uh, between the, the bottom of the foot and like right in the middle of the foot, the whole foot. Like so right in the middle of the whole foot, like see where it bends, right here where it bends, that's the whole foot. You want to put her like right in the middle. Oh, no, I got a slip knot. Go to the other side. Make sure Why it's get tight. closer? You can come around here. Come over here on this side. Okay. Okay. So you get you get a really sharp knife. His, he's dead. The rat is dead. You you grab by the ears, and then you twist the head up like this, and you put the knife down, and twisting up you pull. You want to pull, pull the head up and um, cut it at the same time. So you're doing like one motion. Sometimes I do it in one shot. Sometimes it takes a couple times. I recommend getting you a a thing that you can work with one hand. They got those ones where you, it takes two hands to do that, and that just that takes a long time. So you just get one with one hand. You always clean off all the blood. Like, try to keep the area clean. I, I uh, spray down behind it, get it wet. I found if you get it wet, it works a lot better. You can get the rabbit wet. And then, you start skinning it. You see, you remember that the whole foot, like, right, I like to bring it up above, above the very, the heel, it would be like the heel. I like to come up above the heel and I start with, I use a razor blade because it's really sharp and I switch it out every time. 
every like after this, I'm gonna throw this blade away. It's brand new. Um, but you want to go around the foot. You don't want to cut it off. You're just getting the fur. Just getting the fur. And it's this. The heel is really hard to peel the heel away. If you want to get a close up right here. If you want to get a close up, you you pinch it and pull it. Can you see that? And you just kind of, no. you just kind of scrape it. Just kind of scrape it, and it it'll come more. It'll come apart. It's not too boring. Okay. See. All right. And then you just start pulling it, and if it stops pulling, you just give it a couple, couple little cuts, a couple little cuts. And see, that's the hardest part of the whole thing, because that there's a bone right there. It's a, the heel bone, and um, the the skin just really sticks. It really gets stuck to that. Like it don't want to come apart. But after you do that, it's it gets pretty easy. So what I do is I take it up, pinch it, take it up. It should just peel right away. Let's this other side. first rabbits we've gotten this season and our season starts um, first. yeah we don't breed during the summer so that's the off season for the rabbits and this was the first litter we had after a hot summer the rabbits really like the cold a lot better than the heat and we had one rabbit that was pregnant that she died in the fall, was it the fall? No, it was the no, spring. It was the spring. We had one rabbit die in the springtime from being pregnant. She was in labor, and then we had a then we had a heat wave, like a freak heat wave, come through. And the day that she had was in labor, and it killed her. I want to make a V here. Come down and make a V and cut it. I think I need some more water. You water it down so there won't be hair everywhere. Is that right? Well, it helps keep the hair from sticking to my hands. See, I've got hair all over my hand, but it's fine. So you just pull, you just grab it and you pull it down. You don't see this muscle is separating. That's, you don't really want that. So I'm gonna have to get in there and cut that away from that. Sometimes this happens. Sometimes That's that's not good. Normally that doesn't happen. See the other side's perfect, like it didn't rip, but this side the the meat came apart. I'm just gonna carefully get it. There. Oh, sorry. sorry. Okay, so now we're on the next the next step is you you come through here 
and you just kind of work your fingers in there, right? You just keep digging until you get a hole through the back. And then you pull the, the wiener and stuff, you pull it in the tail, and you just kind of pull it back. So you got that hole, you get your sharp knife, the same one I used to cut the head off, and you just kind of run it up and you, you pull down and up with the knife and then that gets the tail. <clears throat> and um, the reason why we, we take them at 12 weeks is because they start getting smelly and they start, they start spraying everything and start being, you know, boy rabbits. Take it and just... Was that supposed to happen? That's never happened before. The flank meat came off. Well, that's a, that's a new way of doing it, I guess. That's not supposed to happen like that. All the flank meat came off with the rabbit. I don't understand that. So you're supposed to, it's supposed to stay up here. Oh, is that the belly fat? Yeah, the, the belly. belly meat. It's supposed to rain today. And then you, you find the joint right here. And you just kind of, you just kind of work the knife. You know, it'll, it'll get through. Find the joint. It sounds like ice, not rain. It does sound like ice. Insane. Hopefully it stops. Um, that is ice. I see it jumping off my... Okay, now... Blanket. Now, this is the next part right here that I do. Um, and usually it doesn't look like this. Kind of got a V right here. Goes all the way down. All the way down, and then see it opens it up. Yep. And then you just grab it. That's the butt. There's the butt. And it just comes down. And you just let it hang. Oh, and it all okay, that's that was P too. There's the bladder was in there too. And then what I do? I put two fingers. Cut it all the way down. Right here. Let's see if this thing is the same as the last one. See, there's the liver. There's the there's the bile. There's the bile sac. So when you're getting it off the liver, you want to. This is the bottom, and this is the top. You want to pinch it at the top with your fingernails and then you rip it off and you see you just kind of rip it off and then you throw that that stuff is nasty you definitely don't want to be eating that you come over here it's the whole liver there's the liver it's a beautiful Unspotted liver, nice. And then, like I said, you, there's a hole right here where the lungs. This connects the to the stomach, and the kind of a hole in there. You just kind of get into the next, the next level. interesting. Can you see it? Uh-huh. No, you're too close, it's not focusing. Got it. I don't know if I'll put that in there, but 
If I can see it, I might. When I go That's, do it. It takes skills to do that fast. While you're videoing and talking. <laughs> While he's finishing up that rabbit, we have, um, I want you guys to, if you like this video, if it was very helpful for you, click that like button. Um, don't forget to subscribe so that the next time I post a video, you guys will be notified. Also, you'll be notified when I post part two, which is my part, is taking it inside, cleaning them up, and processing them for jerky. Um, these guys are going to be for jerky, these four, um, and the next time we do it, in about two or three weeks, we will process them and I will show you how we do that. Just a burger. Oh, I guess we're making burger, he just told me. We can grab a burger, grab mm -hmm. a sausage burger. So I guess we're gonna be cutting them up just about the same as we're doing now. But I was gonna cut them up and show you guys how to cut them in quarters and, which I got to do for this one before I can cut it up anyways. Alrighty, anyways, we'll see you guys uh, in video for the second portion of it. We'll ta-ta for now.